This short tutorial is how to do a recording in Zoom and then how to link that or send that to your kids. I'm in a Zoom recording or I'm in a Zoom meeting and across the bottom um, right here I have the record button. So I'm going to push record. And I'm going to record it on my computer. It's easiest to work with if you just do it on your computer. All right, so it's recording. So now I am going to share and I have a PowerPoint that I'm going to talk over and teach through. So I'm going to pull that up. This PowerPoint, I want you to know that I found free on the web. I didn't create it. I'm just going to talk through a couple slides. So we're learning about the Civil War. These are your notes and I want you to watch this video and then in Google Classroom, I have some discussion questions posted that you need to respond to. The Civil War lasted from 1861 to 1865. People in the North and the South hoped for an early victory, but the Civil War went on for years. Hundreds of thousands of Americans were killed before the war ended. Here's the key question that you will have to post a discussion answer to in Google Classroom. How did people, places, and things affect the outcome of the Civil War? You can gain information to answer this in the chapter in our book or from the other resources posted in Google Classroom. The Civil War. What do I already know about it? What would I like to know and what have I already learned? So right now we are going to hit on the K and the W, what I know and what I'd like to know, and then we'll come back and circle around to what I've learned. All right, I'm going to stop that presentation and I'm going to pretend I worked through my whole notes. I'm going to stop the record. The recorded file will be converted to an MP4, it says. So now I'm going to leave my Zoom meeting. Here's my recording. I'm going to let that um, convert and it will put it in a file on my desktop. So let, yes, yes, save it there first. And then I go um, to that Zoom file right here. Here they all are. Let's do this way. And these are all the Zooms I've had and here's the one I just did. So next, what I would do is open it, and it's going to open in QuickTime. All right. Here is my recording. I can do a couple things. I can edit it if I need to. On your computer. All right. I'm going to say it's fine. Ooh, I don't want to recording. stop right there. My eyes closed. So then I'm going to save this and I'm going to name it something. Um, oops, Civil War Notes. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm just going to throw that to my desktop so I can find it. You know, I throw everything there. <laughs> what the heck? What's one more? All right. So now it's gone to my desktop. Now what I need to do, a couple different things. You can put that into your Google Drive give your students access and then put that link if you're using classroom or something like that. I prefer to put mine on YouTube. I just have to give a link. I don't have storage issues then things like that. So I'm going to close that, close that, come here to Google, go to YouTube. All right. If you come over here to log in with your school Google account, you'll already, or you can create a YouTube channel. Um, I already have one created. So then I just go right here and I upload my video. I'm going to find my file. Right there's my Civil War notes. Open that. That's going to upload. I can put any um, description in here that I want. 
I can um, create a thumbnail. I could like go into um, PowerPoint or slides and name it and then take a picture of that and upload it as my thumbnail. Takes more time, looks better. That's up to you. All right, so one thing I have to go down here, and yes, it's for kids, or no, it's not. In your case, yes, it is for kids. So then, um, ads and stuff will be removed. Is there an age restriction? Um, not, well, I'm going to say over 18, or no, don't restrict my viewers to only over 18. I want that one because obviously our kids probably aren't over 18. Um, so then next, you can add any screens. I, I'm not that into it. I just finish it and you want to make it public. If you make it private, you're the only one that can find it. You can make it unlisted and then you send the link that it gives you and only the people with the link can find it. But if your kids are used to just going and Googling in YouTube, if it's unlisted, they're not going to find it. So I would make it public. Um, it's a preference between the two. You decide. Um, and so this is done. I'm going to publish it. And a couple places. This link doesn't change. I can grab it here. I can grab it here. My link is going to be here also. Um, if I click on this, it goes to my video. Here's that same link up here. Um, it's right here. I've copied it. So now I take that link and I send it to my kids in an email. I put it into Google Classroom. I um, send, put it in Canvas, however I do it. But then it's open. They get that link to that lesson. Once again, if you have any questions, please contact me and I'm happy, happy to help you.